Hi, I'm Peter Havlin, principal at North Attleboro High School, and you are watching quality local programming on North TV's education channel. Welcome to the North Attleboro High School Video Graduation Ceremony. Today we honor the North Attleboro High School Class of 2020. I'm Peter Havlin, the principal here at North Attleboro High, and I'm proud to be here to join you in the celebration and graduation of this great class. This video celebration is a part of the summer-long celebration of the Class of 2020 as we continue to provide experiences to honor, respect, and celebrate this great class despite the limitations imposed on us by the coronavirus pandemic. While we haven't been able to conduct the annual and traditional year-end activities, we have had some great opportunities in the last few weeks to celebrate with this class and with each other, whether during video ceremonies or during in-person events. We hope you enjoy this video ceremony as part of this summer's ongoing activity to honor our seniors and their families. Before we begin to appropriately honor and celebrate this great class, please welcome senior Mira Curran as she sings the national anthem. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched, or so gallantly streaming on the rock and red air, the boat bursting in air gave food to the night that our flag was. Thank you, Mira. As always, that was beautiful. For this ceremony, I've chosen to record my remarks here in our gym, the Kenneth Pickering Gymnasium. This great space is our school's family room and the room where so much of our activity occurs. It's the classroom for our PE department. It's where we compete throughout the year in athletic contests. It's where we rally in anticipation of some of our school's greatest traditions. It is where we gather to celebrate our school's greatest individual and collective achievements. And it's where we join together to solve problems or support each other in times of difficulty and concern. In my three short years at North Attleboro High School, I've come to know this great space as our school's family room, and I'm grateful to have been a part of each of the meaningful experiences that have occurred in this room over those years. It's hard to accept that we can't all be here together in our family room, but it's helpful to know that you might be watching this ceremony in your family rooms at home as we join together as families to honor, respect, and celebrate each of you as a graduate from the North Attleboro High School Class of 2020. While we can't be together in person due to the coronavirus pandemic, we can still create experiences that minimize or offset how the coronavirus has impacted our senior year. This video graduation ceremony will include typical and impressive speeches from your class valedictorian, Eddie Wang, salutatorian, Brady Johnson, and class president, Jenna Rabani. Superintendent Holcomb will offer his annual remarks to celebrate each of you as not only graduates from North Attleboro High School, but also as graduates from the great North Attleboro Public Schools District. In addition to each of these speeches, we will include some great clips from some of the great experiences you've had during your time in our school. Additionally, individuals from our community and beyond have asked to be a part of this video to offer you words of encouragement and to respect you as you transition into the next parts of your lives. Our school is proud of you and so is our entire community. Typically, the principal of a high school offers remarks at the graduation ceremony that comes in the form of advice. 
But since my first bit of advice to you would be never to take advice from anyone delivering a speech in an empty gymnasium, I will pass on the chance to offer you my advice. But you don't need my advice anyway. In graduating from this great school, you've already shown what it takes to be successful when pre presented with significant challenge. And you're more than ready to take on each of the challenges your future holds. You will be reminded of that truth as you watch and listen to the speeches delivered by your classmates, the encouragement from our community members, and the visual memories of all the great experiences you've had in our school. Before we move into these speeches and video content, I want to be sure to acknowledge and thank some of the important people and town institutions for all that they've done for us. I thank the various parent groups from our district for their contribution of funding, time, energy, and effort as they created the best possible experiences for this great class. From the all-night grad party parents and each of the PTO throughout each of the schools in North Attleboro, we have received incredible support during these past three months. Your help, support, and commitment to the children of this class is appreciated and will always be remembered. I also thank the North Attleboro Police and Fire Departments for their ongoing support throughout all of our planning, especially during the Big Red Rolling Rally and the Diploma Conferring Ceremony on June 12th. It was an honor to have you by our side and we appreciate the support and atmosphere you created. I thank Superintendent Holcomb and Assistant Superintendent McEwen and the North Attleboro Public School Department for its leadership, support, and work to ensure that we are able to create and conduct each of the events throughout this process. I thank Jared Ware and North TV for the tireless and unwavering commitment to help us create and offer the video experiences we've enjoyed during these past few weeks. We've asked for a lot of help from North TV and they've been extraordinarily helpful throughout this entire process. I thank the North Attleboro High School teachers, office staff, administrators, and custodians for everything they've done in the past three months to help us put these events together. This was no ordinary task, and the help, leadership, and support they provided was invaluable. We are blessed to live and work in the great town of North Attleboro with so many strong families, departments, and businesses who see the value of working together to create the best of experiences and outcomes for all. We are just as blessed to have the incredible students of the North Attleboro High School class of 2020 as part of our lives. They have led us through the most unusual of school years, whether it was through the best of times or the most challenging. It was with their leadership and vision that we've enjoyed some of our school's best experiences. And it's with their grace, love, and support for each other that we made it through some of our most difficult times. We are all better off because of this great class and I'm proud to watch them shine through this video and excited to hear their stories of success throughout the rest of their lives. For this ceremony, each of our student speakers were asked to deliver their remarks in a location that had special meaning to them. While they couldn't deliver their speeches in your presence, they were able to deliver them from a location in our school or on our campus that has provided each of our seniors with significant joy and great memories throughout each of the past four years. At this time, please welcome North Attleboro High School Class President, Jenna Rabani, delivering her remarks to you from the senior patio. Hello to my fellow classmates, teachers, and staff, and members of our community. I'm Jenna Rabani, the president of the North Attleboro High School Class of 2020. I have been honored to serve this role, and I am equally honored to enjoy the chance to deliver a speech during this year's graduation video ceremony. I'm proud of my class, and I'm inspired by each and every one of you. We have done everything our school has asked us, and we are more than ready to go on and live a great and excellent lives. Before we move on into our lives, I want to use this time I have during the ceremony to properly honor and remember a classmate and good friend, Cassie Chi. I want to honor you, the members of our class, Cassie, her family and friends, and each of our teachers and staff members, as we are struggling and grieving the loss of such a beautiful and inspiring human being. With all that cl the class of 2020 had to go through across the nation, the NHS class of 2020 specifically had to endure a particular hardship that changed our lives. On Tuesday, January 21st, 2020, after a long weekend, students returned to school to find out that our class had a significant loss. Our fellow classmate and lovely friend Cassie Chi had taken her own life. The energy and vibrancy uh, Cassie radiated was unmatched. The way Cassie used to turn a boring class lecture into a joke was unlike any other. Any time with Cassie was a time filled with jokes, silliness, and laughter. Although we do not have Cassie physically here with us today, she is still graduating with us and taking her diploma that she so rightfully deserves. Thank you, Cassie, for giving me and many other students the greatest high school experience ever. I can, I can say confidently that Cassie will never be forgotten and all the memories she left with us will be cherished 
for eternity. Some of Cassie's closest friends, Jocelyn Jackson, Erin Reed, and Madeline Unica, once described Cassie as beautifully unpleasant, and I couldn't agree more. With all the stunts she pulled and the headaches she gave her friends, that is what made Cassie the beautiful, passionate, and utterly unique person her friends knew her as. We lost the most beautiful soul from our class this year, and it is a loss that none of us will soon forget. Uh, we are given the chance to help others while we're here on Earth, regardless of who they are and what they are going through. We never know the lives of other people, but we should treat everyone with kindness they deserve. So, to the North Adderall class of 2020, please go out and make a change. Make up for the extraordinary things Cassie would have done. Our generation by far is the most powerful and impactful in the world right now. Embrace the differences between yourself and other people. Educate yourself, normalize mental health, and destroy the stigma our society holds against being anything but neurotypical. It is our duty to do this for Cassie. So Cassie, thank you for being you. You have definitely left your mark on all of us. We miss you so much. Also, as class president, I want to use this time to enhance my words by asking you to join me in remembering Cassie by watching an upcoming video created by Cassie's great friend, Jocelyn Jackson. I fly like people get high like planes. If you catch me at the border, I got visas in my name. If you come around here, I'll make a more day. I get one down in a second if you wait. I fly like people get high like planes. If you catch me at the border, I got visas in my name. If you come around here, I'll make a more day. I get one down in a second if you wait. Sometimes I think sitting on trains. Every step I get to, I'm clocking that game. Everyone's a winner, we're making our fame. Bonafide hustler, making my name. Sometimes I think sitting on trains. Every step I get to, I'm clocking that game. Everyone's a winner, we're making our fame. Bonafide hustler, making my name. Mr. Booth. <laughs> Hello, Maddie. Maddie. It's my honor to introduce North Attleboro High School Class of 2020 salutatorian Brady Johnson as he delivers his remarks from Beaupre Field. After four years of extraordinary academic achievement, Brady will graduate from North Attleboro High School with a GPA of 96.60. Throughout his time at North, Brady balanced his time between rigorous honors and AP academic classwork, extensive athletic participation, membership in school clubs and activities, and a range of employment experiences. Despite Brady's heavy course load and after-school activity, he was still able to sustain consistent membership and contribution via his work with the North Attleboro High School Model Senate and the SAD Club, while also serving our community in support of the Special Olympic Games and the local food pantry. After graduation from North, Brady plans to attend the University of Delaware, where he was accepted into the Honors College and will major in chemical engineering. Hello class of 2020. I would like to begin this speech by congratulating you all and letting you all know how proud I am to be the salutatorian of this graduating class. I want to thank my wonderful teachers who put me in a position to succeed and help me change the way I look at learning. I know this isn't the way we wanted our senior year to end. We missed out on some experiences that we've been looking forward to for a long time. However, we can't be upset about the way things turned out because it will get us nowhere. When life hands you lemons, you make lemonade. We made the best of a tough situation, and it couldn't have been done without the help of the NHS administration, teachers, and parents. They did everything they could to provide us with the best senior experience possible under the constraints of the pandemic. A special thanks goes out to them all. 
Having been ranked near the top of our class for the past four years, the idea of me having to give this very speech has been in the back of my mind for a long time. It's always been something I would ponder. How could I use this potential opportunity to leave my classmates with a message that hopefully they will hold with them for the rest of their lives? After hearing many classmates mention how they want high school to be over and college and post high school careers to start, I found a message that I believe will serve us well. Never forget where we came from. Our time at NAHS taught us some unforgettable lessons about hard work, discipline, and accountability. On top of that, we've gained a very strong sense of community growing up in a very close-knit and caring town. Don't get me wrong, I am very excited to attend college next year at the University of Delaware, and I hope you are, you are all excited after, for your plans after NAHS. It is important that we look forward to taking on new challenges and finding new opportunities. I'm sure that's something you already know. However, I feel the need to remind everyone of how we should all be thankful for the experiences we've had and lessons we've learned as a part of this community. One thing our town has taught us is that every, everything is earned and nothing is given. When we first came to high school, we quickly realized that some of the behaviors we picked up in middle school would not cut it. As high school students, our words and actions determine the treatment we received. We had to earn our grades, our playing time, our respect. I will never forget the countless varsity football practices here at Beaupre Field, I spent playing on the scout team against the starters as a sophomore and junior. Running the football into a gap where a big linebacker is waiting to nail you is not a great idea, but I did it anyway because I wanted to earn any playing time I could, whether, be, whether it be on JV or varsity. In North Attleboro, we were expected to maintain discipline. If we wanted to succeed, we had to put in the work to get there and stay focused on our goal. For me, juggling academics, athletics, and part-time jobs was not easy, but I was able to keep my priorities straight and gain some self-discipline in the process. I say some self-discipline because I played more than my fair share of video games, but I always made sure I got my schoolwork done first. These lessons boil down to one principle, accountability. Our parents, administrator, administrators, teachers, classmates, and coaches placed certain expectations on us, which in turn gave us the opportunity to grow as students, athletes, and most importantly, people. We were expected to show up to class with our homework done and practice on time. We were expected to be responsible and decent people. We were expected to balance everything in our lives. It is now our own job to hold ourselves accountable and there are no excuses. What we do from now on is purely based on the expectations we set for ourselves. The town of North Attleboro also gave us an unmatched sense of community. The amount of time I've spent at community field, whether it be rec camp or playing and watching football and baseball at all ages is absurd. I'm happy to call it my second home, and my grandparents live right behind the field, so it might as well be. Apart from that, our town has given us countless opportunities to, and invitations to become active in the community, including Kids Day, Keep North Attleboro Beautiful initiatives, and the Santa Parade through the center of town, just to name a few. Have I mentioned Thanksgiving Day football games yet? Anyway, a sense of community is vital because it ensures that we will stay involved and connected wherever we end up. Community involvement is a great way to feel welcomed and increase your self-worth, and it is important that we all branch out within whatever community we end up in next year. I hope you all understand that these values of hard work, discipline, accountability, and involvement that North Attleboro holds in such high esteem are things we should carry with us for the rest of our lives. If we uphold these standards, we will continue to develop a strong and resilient character that will make for desirable job candidates, friends, and lifelong partners. My parents were both graduates of NAHS who still reflect these important principles and they have undoubtedly made the biggest impact as role models on my life. Hopefully someday our children will be able to say the same thing about us. To my classmates, teachers, and school administration, thank you for making my four years at NAHS the best four years of my life to date. To the class of 2020, I wish the best of luck to you all and always remember where you came from. And finally, to the town of North Attleboro, Thank you for preparing the class of 2020 for the challenges that lie ahead of us. Please welcome North Attleboro High School class of 2020 valedictorian Eddie Wang as she delivers her speech from the historic Judith Cobb Theater. After four years of extraordinary academic achievement, Eddie will graduate from North Attleboro High School with a GPA of 97.34. Throughout her time at North, Eddie excelled in each of her classes many of which were high-level honors and AP courses. In addition to high levels of success within her courses, Eddie fully engaged in significant extracurricular activity, including the performing arts, academic clubs, and athletic teams. Eddie was a member of the North Band and Choir throughout each of her years in our school, but also found time to play tennis, 
compete on the math team, and serve our community as a member of the Leo Club. Most notable with regard to her musical and art experiences, Eddie was selected to perform at Boston Symphony Hall and Carnegie Hall. After graduation from North, Eddie plans to attend the Georgia Institute of Technology, where she'll major in computer science. Additionally, Eddie was also accepted into the Grand Challenges program at Georgia Tech, which is a team that aims to solve worldwide problems related to natural disasters, energy, the environment, and health throughout the entire world. Good evening to parents, relatives, teachers, administration, and especially at the class of 2020. It's an honor for me to be able to deliver this year's graduation speech during such a unique time. At the beginning of the year, the biggest change ahead of us seemed to be the new lobby. We walked in on the first day of school and we were all met with wet paint signs and blue walls. Or gray, honestly, I'm still not sure. And if not the new lobby, the rotating schedule is definitely a change we had to adjust to, both with the daily struggle of trying to find our friends during alternating lunches. But we soon found that we would meet many new challenges this year. We saw practices and football games getting moved to different times because of Triple E, and all of a sudden, we were met with a great change that none of us could have foreseen, the pandemic. It transformed school in a way we never thought was possible as we took classes from our bedroom and felt as if the events we were looking forward to were all canceled. Yes, it's true that we've been faced with a lot of change, but the truth is, we are also a class of change. I've seen so many students band together and take initiative for the things they feel passionate about. Outside of school, people have been advocating for what they believe is right in the world. There are members of the Student Voice Summit who have gone out of their way to change the school in hopes of making it better for all of us. The few students who took it upon themselves to create a senior documentary for us amazed me as well, constantly filming and working hard to make sure they could include as many students as possible. And with that, so many students took time out of their day to film footage and work together to create a product that featured different groups all over the school. We are a class that transcends our differences, always supporting each other, creating, and persevering. A few days ago, I visited my elementary school at Allen Avenue. Sure, it hasn't even existed as an, as an elementary school for the past few years, but I remember walking up the front steps as a small child and running around a playground that seems a lot smaller in hindsight. And when I visited, I was able to reunite with my third grade teacher, Mrs. Smith, who somehow recognized me and my classmates after nearly a decade of being apart. She even asked me how my sister was doing, how she remembered I had a sister was beyond me. But this experience made me realize how much of an impact we leave on others throughout our lives. Even if, it's a even if it's a small impact, we all have the ability to affect others for the better. There will always be someone out there who remembers you, whether as a stranger or a classmate. And I have to say, this class is certainly a group of people worth remembering. In general, I've been inspired by people all throughout this class. When I entered high school my freshman year, I was hopelessly shy. I never went out of my comfort zone and was rarely the first to talk to others. Yet today, I find it heartwarming to reach out to new people and find new experiences. And I owe it all to the students that surround me every day. With your willingness to reach out to others, you have created an environment full of communities of all sorts. You have filled this town and school with unforgettable memories. It's thanks to you all that I have been able to laugh during my classes to the point where it became painful. I believe our connections with others make experiences so fun. It's true, I really do enjoy being alone sometimes. Yet when I look back, my fondest memories all take place in the company of other people. We've been able to share countless triumphs and disappointments together and have believed in each other during the darkest moments of high school, when we all felt hopeless in the face of piles of schoolwork and worries about the future. Although I haven't seen you all for a few months, I hope that you've been able to reach out to each other in the same way that you relied each other when we could actually be together. It's something that it's together that we are able to overcome challenges, even if it's something as big as a pandemic. I'd like to thank a moment to thank Mr. Havland and other members of the administration in town for working so hard to set up these events for seniors. Despite so many regular events being canceled, I still feel like I've been able to thoroughly say goodbye to the school thanks to the creative events they have made for us. I'd like to thank Mr. Rizzo, Mr. Kucher, and every member of the music department for giving me such a special community that I've been able to pour my heart into throughout high school. I want to thank all of the teachers that have given us countless support throughout the years, most notably Ms. McGrail, who is the most caring, hardworking, and empathetic teacher I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. And lastly, I'd like to thank my family, my parents who have pushed me to do things I never knew I was capable of, and my sister who has inspired me to get to where I am today. During quarantine, someone I look up to told me they, that at the end of it all, everything will be okay. And if it's not okay, it's not the end yet. I think that's a mindset that has become especially important during this time. Yes, we will, feel, we will face countless changes in our future. Some of these changes are simply out of our control. 
Yet after being with this class, I'm certain that we will be able to tackle the cha challenges that come our way. I'm so proud of every single one of you for getting to where you are despite the challenges you have all faced. I'm honored to be part of a class of such genuine people that are never apathetic in times of trouble. We are the class of 2020, and we are the class that will ch create change for the better. Thank you. One of the core values at North Attleboro High School is that of service to our community. This past year, we launched the North Serves initiative to ensure that all students had the opportunity to apply their knowledge and understanding from their coursework to the world in which they live. Service comes in all forms, and we celebrate and thank each of our students for their service to our community. One form of service that deserves singular recognition comes when members of our senior class elect to serve in our nation's military. While many seniors will go off to college or enter the workforce, they do so because they have the freedom to make those choices because our American way of life has been preserved and protected by those who serve in our nation's military. It is our honor and obligation to recognize the members of the class of 2020 who with the same choices and freedoms we all enjoy, elected to enlist to serve in our military. Through the North Serves program and in partnership with the North Attleboro Veterans Department, we created a commemorative military style coin to be given each year to our graduating seniors who are committing to serve at the highest level possible by enlisting in one of the branches of the United States military. This coin represents the pride, support, and gratitude we all have for each of you and the commitment you've made to bravely serve our nation. one of our graduating seniors has not only elected to serve our country, he has earned a place in our nation's prestigious United States Military Academy at West Point. This past week, a representative from the United States Military Academy, school and town officials, and members of the family of senior Montrell Jackson convened in front of the flagpole at the high school to honor and recognize the enormity of Montrell's achievement and commitment. All right, good morning. I'm Pete Havel, I'm the principal here at North Attleboro High School, and uh, we're here today to honor and recognize North Attleboro High School senior and recent graduate Montreal Jackson as he prepares to enter the United States Military Academy as a cadet in just a few short weeks. Whenever one of our uh, students decides to enlist in the military, um, a community should stand and uh, show its gratitude and respect. Um, but whenever one of our students achieves the status of being uh, admitted into the United States Military Academy, a community has to stand up and uh, honor that for what it's worth. So today, in honor of Montreal and our respect for him and his achievement, knowing what it took to get into the academy and knowing what it's going to take to be successful uh, through the academy experience, uh, we're all here this morning. So I'm here with Mr. Kurtz, who is the uh, admissions director and the local ambassador from uh, United States Military Academy at West Point. Mr. Perney, who is a North Attleboro resident and a graduate of the United States Military Academy, and Mrs. Jennings, who runs the North Attleboro Veterans Department uh, here in town, and the Jackson family here in support of Montreal and his accomplishment. So at this point, I'm going to turn this over to Mr. Kurtz, and he's going to share some information uh, and perspective as to what this event means. Mr. Kurtz. Thank you. Okay. I am the admissions liaison officer for the United States Military Academy at West Point. I'm also a graduate. First, I would like to acknowledge the veteran service officer here and all the other veterans with us today and anyone who has sons or daughters who currently or have served in the military. Your contribution to our nation can never be thanked enough. The mission of West Point is to educate train and inspire the Corps of Cadets so that each graduate is a commissioned leader of character committed to the values of duty, honor, country, and prepared for a career of professional excellence and service to the nation as an officer in the United States Army. I am so proud to have a young man who has accepted the challenges of the West Point mission and earned a scholarship that includes tuition, room and board, medical care and training, valued at over $350,000. Montrell, would you please come up and join me? Okay, 
This year, over 15,000 young men and women applied for admission to West Point. 1,250 will be admitted. In my district, Congressional District 4, there were 55 candidates. Three will be joining the class of 2024. Montreal will spend the next four years being physically and academically challenged at a beautiful, historic, yet demanding place that is unquestionably the world's premier leadership institution. West Point is about leadership. Among its graduates are such famous leaders as Grant, Sherman, Pershing, Eisenhower, MacArthur, Patton, and Schwarzkopf. But other leaders include the founder of AOL, Jim Kimsey, Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed, Duke University basketball coach Mike Krzyzewski, and the former chairman of the New York Stock Exchange Group, Marshall Carter. In addition to leadership, West Point is also among the nation's top academic institutions, consistently being named the top college by Forbes magazine, the Princeton Review, and other college rankings. West Point is fourth on the list of Rhodes Scholars, seventh on the list of Marshall Scholars, and fourth on the list of Hertz Fellows, the scientific equivalent to the Rhodes. West Point cadets undergo rigorous physical training, leadership development, and moral ethical training to develop those attributes necessary to become a commissioned leader of character as an officer in the United States Army, serving our soldiers, our army, and our nation. Montreal Jackson is a great example of the young Americans West Point seeks to lead our soldiers and our army. They are well-rounded and excel in three areas, academics, leadership, and athletics. Upon graduation with a Bachelor of Science degree from West Point, Montreux will become a second lieutenant in the United States Army. As an officer, he will be entrusted with the responsibility of leading our sons and daughters in difficult assignments around the world. In these trying times, it is important that we all realize the magnitude of this responsibility. Montreux has proven to date that he has what it takes to succeed at West Point and as an officer in the United States Army. I know that Montreal's family, friends, and community are very proud of him. I am very proud of him as well, and am, and am confident that he will be successful at West Point. On behalf of the Superintendent of the United States Military Academy, Lieutenant General Darrell Williams, it gives me great pleasure to welcome Montreal Jackson to the West Point class of 2024. Well, now I would like to say that for the next month, when all your friends are going off to parties and celebrating, <laughs> you're going to go for a run. Yeah. And then you're going to go home and do some sit-ups, some pull-ups, some you know, push-ups, and then you're going to do run again, okay? Be in good shape. The most important thing is, be able to pass the PT test when you get there. It's, you're going to have a short summer because of uh, the changes in you know, with admissions and everything. You lose about two weeks. You, you don't want to lose any time getting ready to learn how to run. Okay? <laughs> you're going to do well. I feel probably, I think about two or three years ago we first met. So I'm very, I was thrilled to have you here. So congratulations. I look forward to seeing you down at the academy. Thank you, family. Thank you. Please join me in welcoming North Attleboro Public Schools Superintendent, Mr. Scott Holcomb, as he delivers his remarks for this year's graduation ceremony. I'm Scott Holcomb, Superintendent of Schools. I'm here to congratulate the class of 2020 on their graduation. Uh, this year has been what one could describe as the, uh, the most challenging and interesting of years due to COVID-19. But even though we are faced with significant challenges and we're not together face to face, it shouldn't diminish your accomplishments uh, that you've had throughout your time in North Attleboro Public Schools. 
Um, some of the lessons I think we've learned from COVID-19, uh, we can look at some of the things that they, it's taken away from us. But I think more than ever right now, we need to look at what the COVID-19 has afforded us. And uh, if you look back, you can think about some of the things that we were able to do with COVID-19, with spending more time with family, spending more time with the loved ones, maybe refocusing and recentering ourselves. Many times we, we look at the next journey in life, uh, we pick a destination, maybe it's for some of you, uh, you say, I can't wait to get to, uh, to, to college, or I can't wait to go on a certain trip once COVID-19 has, has been lifted from us. And those, those things are very important to have as we look into the future, but uh, at the same time, it's important for all of us to, uh, to really enjoy the journey that we're on. Uh, it may seem difficult to do right now due to the social restrictions that we have that are, that are soon to be lifted, but uh, it's very important as we move on to the next journey of life to, um, to enjoy each step along the way. So I want to wish the uh, class of 2020 the best of luck as it moves on uh, into its next journey, whether it be college, the workforce, or maybe a, a gap year or the military, and say that we're all proud of you. We all love you very much. Uh, thank you, and uh, God bless. On June 12th, we successfully completed the North Attleboro High School Class of 2020 Diploma Conferring Ceremony. With pride and admiration, we present to you the entire North Attleboro High School graduating class of 2020. Good afternoon. Welcome to all of our attendees today. And we thank you all for being here this afternoon. I'm Peter Haviland, and I have the honor and privilege to serve this great community as the principal of North Attleboro High School. Today, we welcome our entire senior class, their families, teachers, staff, administrators, district administrators, school committee members, our fire and police department, and North TV to the first ever North Attleboro High School Class of 2020 Diploma Conferring Ceremony. With just under 300 students arriving to campus in the next few hours, we're ready to begin a ceremony that none of us ever anticipated, to consider that our students will be proceeding to their graduation stage in their family vehicles to obtain their diplomas is incomprehensible. It was just a couple of days ago when each of our seniors drove through our campus during the Big Red Rolling Rally so that families and community members could look into their car windows to applaud the seniors as passengers. Today, the roles are reversed as each family will be inside their car looking out as their senior child crosses the stage to obtain their diplomas, turn their tassels to become official graduates of our great school. So here we are, together as a community, school, and with the great North Ottawa High School class of 2020. And today we begin the process of conferring diplomas to each of our seniors. On behalf of Superintendent Holcomb, Assistant Superintendent McEwen, the North Attleboro School Committee, and the North Attleboro Fa High School faculty and staff, the conferment of these diplomas stands as public notice to our entire community that each of our seniors has met each of the graduation requirements as outlined and specified in the North Attleboro High School Program of Studies. By the end of this ceremony today, all students who obtain their diplomas are officially graduated from North Attleboro High School. Before we begin, I'd like to thank and applaud the entire class of 2020. You've been handed a challenge and an outcome to your high school career that caused you to miss the traditional joys from just about every other class that has been able to enjoy those traditions. While you've had just cause to complain and feel sorry for yourselves, you instead revealed what is so great about your class. You're resilient, patient, understanding, and confident enough in yourselves, knowing that your lives will be full of joy and happiness that you anticipated throughout the end of this year. Because of the way in which you lived your lives as students at North Attleboro High School, you are ready for high levels of success and happiness, no matter where you go or what you do. At this time, I turn the ceremony over to Mrs. Giuliano and Mr. Booth, our assistant principals, as they call our seniors up to the stage to receive their diplomas. This concludes, excuse me, at this point in time, this concludes my remarks and I turn it over to our assistant principals. Thank you.
Maria Fidian. Drew William Adams. Class salutatorian, Brady Peter Johnson. Cassie G. Lin Chi. Thomas Terrence O'Neill. Class valedictorian Eddie Wang. Kaylin Elizabeth Syria. <laughs> Sophie Lee Grishkovsky. Sarah Rodriguez Afonso. Josephine Maria Beckett. Michael Robert Blanchard. Diana Catherine Lehigh Blake. Ashley Nicole Cangiano. Congrats, Ashley. 
Leah Mary Jane Ahern. Congrats, Leah. Jenna Rabani. Myrna Nadir Aziz. Rania Nadar Aziz. Aiden Henry Ahern. Jillian Rose Barron. Congrats, Jillian. Destiny Lynn Carr. Good, how are you? Good. Trying to take a picture with your parents? Yep. Frank Manuel Brancato. Jared Donald Bankert. Lauren Marie Antonetti. Mira Elizabeth Curran. Congrats, Mira. Cullen John Buckley. William Harrison Bradley. Cody Alexander Butanowitz. Layla Yasmin Elush.
Sydney Elizabeth Brissett. Grace Catherine Cole. Jack Hunter Arabian. John Liam Connolly. Michael Joseph Curran. Elizabeth Vera Buron. Sierra Brooke Antonitis. Chris Oliver Borjali. Congrats, Chris. Harrison Liam Clayton. Allison Kayla Carter. <laughs> Olivia Renee Byrne. Joseph Michael Barrows. Ethan Westcott Braille Brown. Noah Zachary Ciardi. Congrats, Noah. Take a picture of that.
Valeria Lewis. Dwayne Lamar Bryant. Tanner Barrett Barr. Hannah Bell Allery. Congrats, Hannah. Alexis Jacqueline Congdon. Skyler Catherine Below. Congrats, guy. Delaria Besne Setiner. Serena Victoria Bell. Congrats, Serena. Molly Catherine Colasanti. Cassidy Jane Becker. Kyle Paul Briere. Joseph Robert Coscarella. Congrats, Joey. James Joseph Bush the second. Lily Cameron. Congrats, Lily. Ethan Knight Chu. Isabel Faith Briggs. You guys, Isabel.
Jeffrey Mark Baker. John Moore Boteri. Congrats, John. Lindsay Brooke Robinson. Samuel Omosogie Osa Agbontain. Congrats, Sam. <laughs> Jana Barakat. Congrats, Jana. Emmanuel Matawabuchi Agbanari. Bishoy Mohep Estefanos. Congrats, Bishoy. He's got to. Justin Jarvis Connolly. Alessara Janika Alexis. Congrats, Alessara. Luis Alberto Izaguirre. Hannah Christine Davis. Congrats, Hannah. <laughs> Olivia Bell Forbes. Michael Andrew Edmonds.
out the other side. Katie, Sarah, Jordan. Janine, Bahia, Khalid, Ismail. Jeremy, John, Koska, Flotildes. Tyler Joseph Harris. Congrats, buddy. Yep, take it. Turn around. Just face the camera. Face your parents. Enjoy the moment. Brendan Xavier Falkingham. Catherine Ann Hanowich. Congrats, Catherine. <laughs> Maya Diaz Estrella. Haley Grace Gaskin. <laughs> Madison Kathleen Hawaisen. Madison Ray Frechette. Congrats, Maddie. Kaylee Marie DeMarco. Take your time. Connor James Eaton.
Zachary Robert Dialmo. Congrats, Zach. Fix your stole up and take some pictures. Jocelyn Marie Jackson. Caitlin Jolie Echeverry. Congrats, Caitlin. Yep. Take some more pictures of Tom. Oh. <laughs> Take your time. We're okay. You're fine. Sarah Stewart Dawes. Jeremy Brendan Follen. Olivia Nicole Hewitt. Faith Lauren Gravelin. Garrett Gray Fisher. Congrats, Garrett. Hannah Celeste DeMarco. Isabella Rose Di Chiara. Congrats, Izzy. Brett Carney Dussel. Devin Steven Goyette. Congrats, Devin. Robert Silas Del Ventol.
Isabella Grace Erdy. Samantha Gabriela Garcia. Congrats, Sammy. Abigail Krista Gallagher. Andrew John DiMatteo. Sophia DePina. Owen David Harding. Congrats, Owen. Maya Rose Ferrone. Your family, too. Cameron Joseph Emmanuel. Jackson. Daniel Edward Gallagher. Lydia Sky Hershey. Taylor Brooke Gorman. Lucas Khalil Haddad. Jacqueline Marie Donovan. Ethan Timothy Freiberg. Congrats, 
Yep. Face the camera, face your family. Danielle Elaine Glidden. Thank you guys, Daniel. Russell Jared Dunlap. Dylan Joseph Durkel. Congrats, Dylan. Aiden Charles Johnson. Timothy William Hogan. Hogan. Let's jump, Tim. Congrats, bud. Nicholas Joseph DiGiacomo. Alexandra Grace Fonts. Congratulations. David Bailey Hobbs. Alexandra Hardy. Congrats, Alex. Eliza Beth Dion. Jasper Donovan Lewis Harrop. Emma Rose Joy Gravelin. Annabelle Maria Hebert. Okay. 
Alyssa Michelle Freitas. Cameron George Gale. Regan Tara Fine. Congrats, Regan. Gabriella Roz Gagnon. Trevor John Hewitt. Olivia Catherine Foley. Take your time, take it, take your time, put it back on you, okay. We can help, yep, no rush. Take your time. Don't worry, don't worry, take your time. Ethan Christopher George. Congrats, Ethan. Face the TV camera, too. Evan Michael. Dolly. Congrats, Evan. I think she's still on. Hold on. Shit face, Mom. Montrell Emmanuel Jackson. Mr. Jackson has courageously and honorably committed to serve our nation as a cadet at the United States Military Academy at West Point. Madison Amber Flynn. Nadine Hosam Elzaftawi. Congrats, Nadine. Heather Rose McGowan. Nathan Paul D'Amico.
Rachel Elizabeth Garber. Haley Lynn Demers. John Joseph Leclerc. Congrats, Jack. <laughs> Rachel. Gonzalez. Joya Marie LaPlante. Natalie Ann Kaiser. Person Ovidio. Velasquez Bonilla. Zoe Despina Kalajakis. Catherine Elizabeth Lindstrom. Congrats, Katie. Face the camera. Matthew Griffin McSweeney. John Francis Comer.
Jocelyn Grace Levesque. Alberto Martinez. Kayla Lynn Mello. Jason Montez. Jacob Robert Magnan. Nathan Patrick Kelly. Emmanuel Olivo Martinez. Jaden Nori Long. Megan Grace McCormack. <laughs> Kevin Enoch Martinez. Rotodi Nandi. Congratulations. Melissa Lynn McDermott.
Nidhi Kamani. Grace Kathleen Munley. Luke Thomas Moulin. Kylie Marie Melanson. Matthew Eric Mordini. Alexandria Lee Molson. Elizabeth Patricia Kennerson. Michelle Tutau Nguyen. Julia May Klutchkowski. Renee Heather McConey. Annette Josephine Lamose. Charles Philip Lamose. Congratulations. Rachel Victoria McKenna. Congratulations. 
Michael Francisco Lazo Umanzor. Congratulations. Gianna Marie Marcella. Emma Jean Nye. Briar Lauren Marini. Congratulations. Nathaniel Robert McKinnon. Congratulations. Catherine Elizabeth Kayata. Congratulations. Ryan Douglas McEwen. Jake Thomas McNeeny. Adam O'Dwyer. Mr. O'Dwyer has courageously and honorably committed to serve our nation by enlisting in the United States Air Force. Congratulations. Brendan Thomas McGoldrick. Riley Catherine O'Brien. Congratulations. Yep. Samantha Lynn Martino. Congratulations. Joseph Luke Minichello. Congratulations. Gabriella Brooklyn Lascano.
Aiden Robert McQuarrie. Congratulations. Kaylin Eve Malcolmson. Congratulations. Kaylee Lanzhaojing Malkowski. Dennis Joseph Morehouse. Congratulations. Ryan Passos Kelly. Sarah Mackenzie Marrow. Congratulations. <clears throat> Ethan Charles Mottinger. Isaiah Austin McCool. Evan Matthew King. Congratulations. Jonathan Michael Lazinski. Brett Russell Labonte. Daniel William Nobrega. Michelle Lane Poffier.
congratulations. Lindsay Marie Spratt. Congratulations. Adam Scott Woodland. Thomas Wayne Skitt. Cody Scott Weiner. Emmett Carson Root. Jack Michael Periello. Nicholas William Taylor. Congratulations. Get, get. Stephen James Taylor. Keith Thomas Slobogan. Congratulations. Andrew Peter Tolfa. Congratulations. James William Sales. Congratulations. Brooke Michaela Street. Congratulations. Xiao Tong Wang.
congratulations. Joseph Michael Vanacore. Congratulations. Patrick Thomas Parlon. Eduardo Vargas Vitorino. Congratulations. William Brian Redding. Issa Adam Sadiq. Congratulations. Jayant Wadwa. Holly Elizabeth Silvestri. Congratulations. Alonza Marie Robinson. Congratulations. Tyler Joseph Robertson. Lily Marie Weatherby. Sabrine Kudumi. Congratulations. How are you? Just like she did. Good, thank you so much. Yeah, you Layla Andrea Vargas. Congratulations. Sure. 
Mola, Lila, Sadek. Natisha Sony. Nicholas Joseph Schwedel. Justin Riley Strom. Priyanka Sunil. <laughs> Harney Deepak Patel. Madeline Carly Uneka. Congratulations. Ryan Matthew Rajat. Congratulations. Samir Venkata Pasumarthi. Joshua Stephen Porter. Congratulations. Casey Sean Poirier. Congratulations. Alexander Noel Pfeffer. Congratulations. Kyla Ann Rodriguez. Congratulations. William Henry Yeomans.
Olivia Riley Wills. Congratulations. Colette Marie Petit. Congratulations. Well, you want to take a picture? Taylor Tierney Ward. Congratulations. Joseph Tobias Shaunan Vasconcelos. Congratulations. Michael James Pastori. Congratulations. Abigail Grace Slaney. Congratulations. Jacob Matthew Pion. Congratulations. Kylie Rose Rojahowski. Congratulations. Erin Elizabeth Reed. Congratulations. Abigail Marie Valdez. Congratulations. Ari Damara Preacher. Congratulations. Brittany Thomas. Congratulations. Tony May Whalen. Congratulations. Talia Isabella Spencer.
That's awesome. Congratulations. Colin Michael Sheldoni. Devaney Nicole Payne. Nora Sakara Whiteman Best. Kelly Yan. Congratulations. Emily Kathleen Rinaldi. Denise Joy Slinko. Congratulations. Heather Elizabeth Bolkin. Congratulations. Zachary Paul Vinchula. Congratulations. Pratham Kaushik Vankar. Congratulations. Yumit Kumar Patel. Aditi Rathor. Congratulations. Maxwell Williams Vaughn.
congratulations. Colby Mitchell Roberts. Congratulations. Ritika Manoj Wedeker. Congratulations. Thank you, time. Face your family. Face your family. Emma Renee Antonio Santana. Daniel Grattan Conroy. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm Lauren from the class of 2013. North Attleboro High School helped prepare me for my dream job with the Boston Red Sox. Follow your dreams. Class of 2020, 2007 alum, Anthony Sherman here. Congratulations. Continue to do great things in the world like I know you will. Can you believe the Super Bowl was the last major sporting event in this country? Oh yeah, sorry, Pats fans. Congratulations, Evan King and the class of 2020. Hello, North Attleboro High School, class of 2020. The coronavirus pandemic will be a big part of your high school story, but the world is waiting for what you do next, and we look forward to seeing how it turns out. Congratulations. Congratulations, Congratulations to the class of 2020. So proud of all of you. Happy graduation. Congratulations to the North Attleboro High School class of 2020. What she said. From the Nobriga family to the North Attleboro High School class of 2020, Congratulations! From the class of 2018. Congrats to the class of 2020. We're so proud of you. Hey guys, just want to wish you a huge congratulations. Um, you've earned it. I also want to wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Congrats, class of 2020. The world may have changed around you, but it didn't change you. It made you stronger and even more driven. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We wish you the very best of luck. As alumni of class yes, of 1993, 1993 and 2017, we would like to congratulate the class of 2020 and wish them the best of luck in their futures. Congratulations, North Attleboro class of 2020. Woo! Congratulations, class of 2020. This year only made you stronger. Best of luck. On behalf of the Butanowitz family, we want to congratulate the class of 2020. We're very proud of your successes and can't wait to see what the future holds. Congratulations. Congratulations to the North Attleboro class of 2020. Love the O'Briens. And the Yeomans. And the DiMatteos. Poppiers. Conleys. Big Red on three. One, two, three. Big, Big Red. Red. Woo! Congratulations, class of 2020. From the Buckleys and the Hardings. Good luck. Good luck. What's up, North Attleboro class of 2020? Just wanted to say congratulations on a great high school career, both in athletics and academics. And I'm sure you guys have learned a lot from your competition, your coaches, your teammates, and your teachers. And, you know, just wanted to say congratulations. Obviously, this year has gone a little bit 
differently than anybody would have anticipated, but you still can't take away from all the accomplishments you guys have had. So just uh, want to say best of luck in the future and go Big Red. Congratulations, Class of 2020. My name is Keith LaPointe, and I'm a proud alumni of the North Attleboro High School Class of 1993. I have a successful business career, and I'm very proud to be your town council president. On behalf of the council, congratulations on everything you've done and best wishes for everything you'll do in the future. I urge you to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Embrace change and you will find success. Like you, my drive for success started on Wilson Woody Way. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're so proud of all the unity and resiliency you've shown. Best of luck in the future. Go Big Red. Congratulations, North Attleboro High School seniors, you did it. Class of 2020, you made history and you guys are part of it. We're so proud of you. Your hard work, discipline, dedication, and utmost perseverance, you're unstoppable. Congratulations, I'm Terry Gaskin. Whether you're going into the military, the workforce, or higher education. From the class of 2016. Congratulations, the class of 2020. Go, Go Big, Big Red. Red! North Attleboro class of 2020, we are so proud of you. Your character and your resilience to roll through these unprecedented times Woo! has prepared you to conquer virtually anything. Virtually! We are always, you are already making history and we can't wait to see what you do next. Congratulations! Woo! Congratulations, Congratulations class of 2020. 2020. Good luck in your future endeavors. You'll do great and always go Big Red. Go Big Red! Hello to the class of 2020 from the Hanowitz family. As you power through the end of your senior year, you're learning to become more flexible, creative, and resilient. And as the saying goes, that which doesn't break you only makes you stronger. Stay strong, class of 2020. Hey James, just wanted to wish you congratulations on your graduation. Oh, congratulations as well. Congratulations, very proud of you, good job. Way to go, bud. Right on, <laughs> yay. Congratulations to the class of 2020 North Attleboro High School from the O'Neill family. Yeah! yeah. Hi everyone, Kelly O'Neill with Channel 10 in Providence. I'm also a 2014 NAHS graduate. Just wanted to say congratulations to all the seniors. This is such an exciting time. Take it all in and best of luck with your future endeavors. From the class of 2016 to 2020, congratulations! congratulations. Go Congratulations, North Seniors, Class of 2020. We're so proud of you. Happy graduation. Congratulations. I'm Dr. Tom Howard, NAHS 2008. My class graduated through a recession. We can tell you it does get better. I know it's hard to see it now, but I trust we will all be in good hands when it's your turn to help us through whatever challenges the future holds. Hi everyone, my name is Hannah McCarthy, class of 2013. I first of all want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. I know that this time has been difficult for everyone. I've been working as a nurse in New York City and it's important now more than ever to be leaning on friends, family members, and classmates, especially during this time. I know this isn't the graduation you would all hope for, but I hope you all are celebrating all of your accomplishments and best of luck to you all. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Mitch McDonald, a proud member of the North Arab High School class of 1979 and a career journalist who traces his start all the way back to our very own high school newspaper. I'm honored to be able to share and add my congratulations to the chorus of well wishes as you mark this important life's milestone. Wherever your dreams may take you, always remember from whence you came and know that we are here rooting for you. You have great reason to be proud and every opportunity to reach any goal. Aim high and reach for the stars. That, after all, is where Rocketeers belong. Class of 2020, born around 9-11, you are unstoppable. Graduating during a pandemic, you are unbreakable. Made for greatness, you are unforgettable. Congratulations. Congratulations. Shout out to Katie Lindstrom. Kato, you rock. We love you and so proud of you. From Red Rocketeer to Riverhawk, the best is yet to come. Love you. Love you. It's a celebration Dear graduates of the class of North Attleboro 2020, you are a very special class and you are the chosen ones to have the strength and fortitude to seek a path forward without the usual pomp and circumstance 
that all the other graduating classes have had the benefit of experiencing. You are the very first class to start your journey in a quiet and deliberate fashion. You have had to be strong and make the best of our new normal. I know this experience will give you extraordinary strength and a newfound fortitude to start the next chapter of your life. You will be an example of strength for all those who will follow you. And we are looking forward to all the wonderful things that you will accomplish for our world. Congratulations and all my best wishes as you go forward. Hello, class of 2020. Happy graduation. We just wanted to say thank you from the freshmen, sophomore, and junior classes. You have impacted us in so many ways. And we're grateful for the memories we've made both in and out of school. From working together in class, to goofing off after school, you have made high school so fun. Your kindness and leadership has helped us grow. And, and you, you have, have been great role models for us. We can't wait to see where all of your hard work through high school will take you. We know this year didn't end the way you planned. And even though your year got cut short, you made the best of it. Your class made many firsts this year. With the rolling rally, senior documentary, and more. So we followed suit with a video to celebrate you and wish you the best in your future. We love you all so much! So thank you to the class of 2020. And congratulations. I thank each of you for watching and celebrating each of the graduates of the North Attleboro High School class of 2020. We are proud of each student for your achievement and wish you all the best throughout this incredible transition into the rest of your extraordinary lives. You've done all that's been asked of you and you are more than ready to handle any challenge and opportunity that will come your way. You are a remarkable and impressive class of great people and you will be missed by each of us. We thank you for all that you've done for our school and for what you've meant to our school. We wish you luck in your lives after high school and we want you to remember that this school was is and always will be a home for you and that you are always welcome here. Thank you, congratulations to each of you, and go Big Red.
Thank <laughs> you.